In today's video, we got in a crazy collection that was completely unexpected, and we had to pay out a lot of money for it, and then Ryan and Kyle also got some amazing gifts from a fan who was visiting all the way from Florida. What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I just got to the store. I'm here before anyone else is here, so we have a Cooper-only intro, but, um... I have something I'm gonna enter into the system real quick before we open. We opened this package last night. We didn't film it. It's not too, too exciting, but we got a restock on the Legend of Zelda swords. They're pretty cool, they're just plastic, of course, but we got two boxes of those. So we have three shields left, but we've been out of the swords forever. So got those last night. Gonna get them into the system this morning. Also, really quick, I need to mention, um, I guess, we're big enough, you know, our channel's big enough at this point that we have scammers pretending to be us in the comments. And obviously I blocked the person, but they were leaving, they're replying to other comments overnight when I was asleep. And we got like, I'm not joking, like six or seven emails from people asking if it was legit or telling us they knew it was a scam and just telling us that it was happening. Um, so if, if you ever get a comment that looks like it's from us that says something about you won a prize or to contact us anywhere other than our email, it is not real. Click on the profile. If it doesn't go to our channel, it's not us. It's not real. It's a scammer. Report them and I will catch them pretty quick. Um, I do read all the comments and everything. So if I see someone, you know, with a fake account, I'll catch it pretty quick. But this one was posting like I said, when I was sleeping. So, um, they posted 56 comments before I banned their, their thing. And, uh, yeah. So if you saw that, ignore it, report them. And if it happens, I'll do my best to keep them away. Also on YouTube, they filter out comments that are like harassing and stuff like that, or, or comments that have like, you know, bad words, they go into a little thing that says like held for review where I can approve or like deny comments from being posted publicly, basically. Um, so a lot of like, like spam and stuff ends up in there. There's a lot of like ones that are like comments that are all in Spanish, but then they'll have like a link in the middle somewhere that goes to like, you know, some inappropriate stuff. They always go in there. So you guys never see that kind of stuff. Um, but you can also add your own specific words to block. And so I added a couple words that this scammer was using in, in their comment. So hopefully if they make another channel and come back and try to do it again, it'll automatically flag those for me and I can get rid of them before you guys see them and hopefully nobody gets tricked. I'm far enough away so you guys can't see any personal information, but those are all the orders that we have to pull today. This one is actually two separate orders, but it's from the same person, so we're gonna combine that, of course. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Somebody ordered a couple Atari games, some Xbox, Genesis, GameCube, 64, Wii. This is only the first page, this is a two-page order. It's cool to see some variety. This person ordered a pretty expensive strategy guide. And on this one, we have some PS2 games. There's actually lots of variety with these orders today. We have some Vita, DS, NES, N64, Wii, PS2. There's all sorts of stuff. And everybody else should be here in like five to 10 minutes. We're gonna get these orders pulled, get everything shipped out today. Abby did a lot of shipping yesterday, but we still have more, of course. So my plan for today is to reply to all of our emails. If you emailed us and your email needs a reply, it will most likely be in there now. So go and check. Ew. Yeah. What's that? Uh, some dust that's in the crevices. <laughs> Crevice dust. Yeah. Gross. What are you using to get it out of there? Little uh, denture brush. Yeah. Yeah. So we get these, we just get them off eBay. Yeah. But it's specifically a denture brush. They're like, I mean, it would really hurt to brush your teeth with this. Yeah, it would not be fun enough. <laughs> But if you take your teeth out and then brush them, then it's fine. Yeah, yeah. But these, the bristles are like extra sturdy. Yeah. And a lot they're. More than a normal brush. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can just tell they're a lot thicker than like a regular toothbrush. Yeah. That would tear your gums up. <laughs> but it's perfect for cleaning stuff. So yeah. we just order packs off eBay. You get like 10 of them for just like a few bucks. Yep, yep, yep. And they work great. They do. They do. 
I'm here to show you all these super duper awesome trade-ins that we have, starting with these guys, Solar Striker, um, Mermaid 2 Pinball, this has the battery cover with it, Spider-Man 2, Godzilla Monster Wars, and then we got a cartridge only Assassin's Creed, the Rebel Collection. Mm. What are you doing? Adam interrupted us. We got Naruto for PSP. Burnout Legends, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, The Legend of Zelda Complete Animated Series. Ew, this is gross. We're going to clean that off. Rampage Total Destruction, Shrek The Whole Story. This is all of the Blu-rays. Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, Shadow of the Colossus, Splinter Cell for GameCube, SOCOM for PSP. 2K16, Little Big Planet 3, Little Big Planet Special Edition, Little Big Planet Game of the Year, Ninja Gaiden 2. <clears throat> we have Batman Arkham City. Did anybody watch the new Batman? Did you watch the new Batman? No. What? Okay. And then we got Simpsons Hit and Run. This is a disc only copy, but uh, Kyle found a case for it. Sealed Zombies Ate My Neighbors with Ghoul Patrol for the PS4. Retro City Rampage DX. This is not the first print. Also sealed for PS4. Mega Man. Oh my gosh. I get so tongue tied with Mega Man games. Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Condition and Legacy Collection condition. Mega Man X Legacy Collection plus the second one. Nier Automata Day 1. Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Mega Man Legacy Collection. Mega Man 11. Torment. Transistor. This is Limited Run. Mad Maestro. This is from our newest employee. They traded in some, of, uh, some stuff. Mass Effect. Stardew Valley Collector's Edition. It is marked as poor because it has some water damage on the artwork, but it has all of the inserts. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. Midway Arcade Treasures. And God of War 2. And then we also got a 3DS console and a Game Boy magnifier. I, I have rapped in a program I did, a Weird Weekends episode about rap. Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle. Folds. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure and make me want to dribble dribble, you know. Matt was just here and he left. What did he give us, Kyle? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, Ryan! <laughs> yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> Abby. It's everywhere. <laughs> Get this one next. You love it? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Should we show the other things? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Let's I'll, see. I'll get mine. Go up there. Go get them. Where's yours? In the back. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 One of a kind, custom painted media yeah. controller and PS5 controller. Here's it's mine. beautiful. Yeah. <gasps> that matches Abby's hair. Oh, it does. <laughs> nope. I had it so the controller was like right <laughs> here, and then the hair. I so this it. is pretty close to the color of Abby's, <laughs> Mine's but it's not, pink. it's not exact, but it's close. Yeah. And then... Mine's just sparkly blue. God, it looks so good. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I love the, the glitter. Ooh. It's so cool looking. Like, it looks deeper, like yeah. in person. Like, yeah. It it's like really a slight, cool. wherever the light hits it, it's like a green, and then everywhere else is like a dark blue. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's super cool. I like it. Oh, actually, I can show you guys. I can show you guys mine because I didn't take mine home. Oh, so mine's still here. So you did the back as well. Yeah. So the whole thing. Yeah. So whole cool. Thing. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. What's going on, guys? Got another staff pick for you here today. This time it is Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS. This is the only Fire Emblem game that I've actually beaten. Um, I played Three Houses and didn't get very far into that one. I've played uh, Fates and I didn't get very far into that one. This is the only one I've beaten, but it is extremely fun. Um, this is the first Fire Emblem game on the 3DS 
and it is, I believe, the first game in the series where it lets you play as a casual strategy RPG player. What I mean by that is that all the other Fire Emblem games before this, if a character died at the um, during a battle, they're dead forever. In this one, you have the option to play casually, and when they die, they just come back at the next battle. The only unfortunate thing about that is that when they die, they don't get any more experience, so if they died, they would be weaker than everybody else in the next battle. Um, you can you can level up other ways, but uh, this game is super fun, great story. You meet Krom for the first time, I believe, in this game, and his daughter, not to spoil anything, but um, you're basically fighting against an evil force that can raise the dead, and I don't remember a whole lot about the story, unfortunately, because I played it like 10 years ago, but it's great. Um, there's a cool mechanic in there where you can um, rank up your relationships with other characters and then you can have children and your children are like super strong. They inherit like basically all the stats from the parents and stuff like that and you can pass on I think abilities from them. So it's definitely worth checking out. If you're new to strategy RPGs this is a great one to check out. Alright guys, we have a mail-in trade here to unbox. This is from Daniel. Uh, yeah, basically it just says here's the information you requested. So, let's see what, what's in here. This is from uh, Sweden, I think, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a foreign phone number. Yeah. I don't want to rip anything. You taped it up. Kind of, I think I have to cut it. There we go. I know I didn't cut the box. <laughs> but it's already some good stuff from this one I'm holding. Ooh. Looks like a complete Metroid Fusion. Um, a little bit of edge wear, but overall pretty, pretty nice. The only thing is like, I don't know if you can see it, but some wear up here. Uh, yeah, okay. I just like took everything out. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. We got Advance Wars Dual Strike. No game. <laughs> I was expecting it came in there. Uh, never seen this one. Flower, Rain, and Sun, Murder and Mystery in Paradise. Watch your foot. This one does have the game. It is complete. We got very expensive PS1 game here that I wish I could get, <laughs> but maybe one day. But it is complete copy of Alundra for the PS1. This is pretty awesome. It's pretty nice too. How's the manual? There you go. All right, next up we got Metroid Prime Hunters. No game? <laughs> so. Just buy a little loose, loose empty cart. I don't know, but we got Warrior Wear Touched complete. Then we got some GameCube games here. We got Metroid Prime complete. Battalion Wars also complete. Star Wars Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron Two. That one is also complete. And Pikmin 2, also complete. Sweet. So thank you, Daniel. This is awesome. We'll get that entered soon and get your payment sent over. My little trick that I told you guys about earlier of putting a couple, a couple of those uh, like scammer keywords in there, it already worked. I had blocked the first account that they had that I, I did this morning and I put those keywords in there and I caught this one. Um, they made a different account that wasn't blocked. They had left five comments, I think, in the, and I, it was only like 11 minutes ago, so I caught it right in time. I was able to block that account, report it, and none of their comments went public. They all went to the held for review. I marked them all as spam as well. So just be vigilant. If you guys see that, it's not us. So I have a Game Boy here that I'm going to add an, a, backlit, a backlit screen to. Um, Michael, or Mike, called me and asked me if I could do it. I told him I could. I'll take that up later. 
<laughs> Someone just but, fell out. Um, I told him, I was like, hey, you could get the super simple backlight mod. It's called the Cloud IPS screen, and it's just a drop-in solution, so I don't have to, like, cut anything on the shell, and it's reversible if need be, for, for whatever reason. Um, so I'm just going to do that real quick, and then I can show you when it's done. And he's got this cool Venusaur nice. shell for it. Sweet. And we also got some NES games traded in. So we have Back to the Future. I guess I should probably show the tops of these so you guys can see the prices. Hold on, I'm not tall enough. Okay, got Back to the Future. We also have Goonies 2 manual that's marked as poor. Rad Racer, Rad Racer 2, The Goonies 2. We have Gorilla War. Days of Thunder, uh, Kung Fu Heroes, Heavy Barrel, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, Kid Icarus, Metroid, Fist of the North Star, Ninja Gaiden, Xanic, and Life Force, and then Conquest of the, of the Crystal Palace. We have this guy, Olympic Hockey 98. NBA Hang Time, International Track and Field 2000, Paladin's Quest, Mega Man X2. We have a no manual copy of Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates, The Revenge of Captain Hook. Complete in box, poor condition because of the sticker. Tactics Ogre, Mickey Mouse Capé. This is complete as well, but this is fair condition. We have a no manual copy of Town and Country Surf designs. This is poor. It's super sun faded. Dragon View. This is complete poor. NFL, oh, NFL Blitz. Complete poor. The Bard's Tale. This has some heavy damage right there. And we have Hide Lide. This is in good shape. Complete. And then, I'm out of breath. We have Omega Ruby, Pokemon Black 2, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, Hyrule Warrior Legends, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, Ace Combat Assault Horizons Legacy, Super Mario 3D Land, Super Mario Maker 3D, Naruto Ninja Destiny, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Maker 3D, Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword, Tetris Axis, Yokai Watch 2, Fleshy something. This doesn't have that coin though. Medallion. Metal. Metal thing. Whatever. Super Smash, Spider Man Battle for New, for New York, Yokai Watch 2, Bony Spirits. This one does have it. Then we got Mario Sports Superstar. This does not have the amiibo cards. And then we have Harvest Moon, A New Beginning. All right, guys, so we just got this back in stock, perky little things. Um, I just wanted to inform you, we do have 30 copies that sold out la last time really fast, so you might want to pick it up. Also, every copy is kind of like slightly crushed in a way, like, I don't know if you can see, but like there's always like these little dips and bends in the cardboard, and a lot of them, the seal is like split open like this one has a tiny tiny hole in it you can't really see it on camera but most of them it's splitting here at the top of the seal just wanted to inform you about that but we got it back in stock so get yours now i buy these no stab who's it from this is from video game depot oh, in alaska uh, who is it that told you about that? No. Uh -huh. Says, what up, peeps? Thank you for your purchase. We appreciate the support. I included a few gifts and hope and hope there is a little something there for everyone. We will be carrying these going into the future along with more great items. We update our site daily and are constantly getting more in. If you have any issues, comments, or just want to find some more products, please feel free to reach out. Stay safe and game on from Mike. Okay, but Kyle did tell you about this. Kyle told me about the sale, but <laughs> but I also <laughs> but I also saw it on Facebook. Stop it! Oh, this is a different card. 
What happened? What happened? How many people are here? A lot. Five. Everybody? Yeah. So, Ryan? Uh, For Ryan? I don't think Kyle's gonna want one. This one? No. The Luffy one? Yeah, I'm gonna do the Luffy one. one. Mm -hmm. For Kyle? I don't even know what it is. That's a Ryan one. I don't know. It's a shitty guy from Technology. We'll figure it out. That's. Something. These are like hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are Video Game Depot brand hand sanitizer. Here you go, Abby. No. Unskented. And then we have, oh, there's a couple more. Oh, well, this one's for Abby. <laughs> no, I don't want that one. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> and then we have these. Cooper doesn't know anime. What's an anime? Cooper can't read. Damn. There's nothing to read. <laughs> the subtitle? Alright. This, so they were having a sale on their website. And we picked up basically just a bunch of high end stuff. <laughs> uh -huh. They have. They have our same stickers. I have to take them off or else you'll think there are price tags because they look the same. Because they use GameSmart. They didn't use GameSmart until we recommended them. And GameSmart is the best. <laughs> you guys can leave. <laughs> look at these haters over here. I'm just here wearing my Ryan shirt, trying to unbox this package. I'm wearing my Ryan shirt. Yeah, me too. I did my staff pick in my Ryan shirt. Good. Everyone's staff pick every day needs Adam. to be in a Ryan shirt. What's up? Adam's not wearing his Ryan shirt. That's because Adam's not Freaking hater. Dang. That's how you really feel. I'm trying to open these all real quick, and then I'll show you guys. We got some awesome stuff. Don't spoil it. I mean, well, since he spoiled it, we have Futurama for PS2. I think we're just all heckling Cooper. Bam. <laughs> and then we have Tube Slider for the cube. This is probably the second time we've ever had this. I thought you were going to throw that on the ground. No. We have Game & Wario, which, did you enter the one? No. So, did you talk about the store? No. Abby I didn't and I, tell anybody about it. Abby and I went to a game store in Longview, Washington on Wednesday and we picked up a bunch of stuff. Some of the stuff that she showed you earlier was from that. But we picked up a game of Wario and I don't think she put it in the system yet, but we did have one. We also have Donkey Kong Jr. Math. And then we have three big boy games. We have The Punisher for the Genesis. This is a pretty rare game. It's got the hang tab, really, cl really clean on the outside. Wow, everything looks really good. Ooh, Genesis. it's even got the little tattoo. Ooh. Oh my god. Everybody's gonna be so this jealous This is like of you. a super minty copy. And then we have Cubivore. But sadly, this is the only one that's not complete. But still, it's Cubivore. And then, the really big boy game. Oh my god. We have so... Super Bowling. Last time we had one of these, we sold it for 800 bucks. Pretty sure they're going for around the same price, but that is super, super cool. And I'll try to get these into the system tonight before leaving, so these should be available by the time you guys see this video. All right, Michael. I just talked to you on the phone, but I told you this is being the vlog, so here it is. It's all done. Yeah. Nice. And so, as I explained to him on the phone, obviously I didn't talk to the rest of the people, <laughs> but um, I'm not showing the game, but there is a touch sensor here 
Might not be able to see it super well. Oh, you can see it. Okay. Changes the brightness. Yeah, there's like six brightness settings or something like that. Then it goes back to the brightest. That so emerald needs a new battery. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm currently doing besides, but, besides this. Let's see the back. Nice, it looks really good. Oh, well, he already had the shell. Um, I am sending the repl the screen you already had in case you ever want to make a stock again. You don't have to have this the back of the screen. It's yours anyways, but I didn't you know, feel like I should keep it. Cool stuff. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Um, invoice is on the way, like I said, on the phone. Sweet. Right before closing, we had someone come in with a crazy collection here that we ended up purchasing. This was not cheap, but it's really good stuff. And that was these two stacks and these. But before that, we also got this switch light from somebody else. It is the kind of like purpley blue one. It's not available till June 5th, but still super awesome. And then on to these. So I'm gonna start over here. This whole stack is factory sealed. So we have Shimigami Tensei Persona 3 FES, Nocturne, Digital Devil Saga, Digital Devil Saga 2, Tales of the Abyss. Um, a lot of these ones are marked as poor, as you can see there, because uh, they have, this one's like the worst. It's got like a big rip right there. You can see plastic missing. Uh, but a lot of these do have little rips and stuff in the seals, so they are marked as poor. Uh, we have Valkyrie Profile 2, Greatest Hits, Arno Surge, Ode to an Unborn Star, Artanelco Koga, Atelier Maruru, The Apprentice of Our Land. So like, let me see if I can show what this one, because this is marked as poor. There's like a little hole right there. You can kind of see. Um, there's like a little one, a little crack on the case right there. So there's one right there, but it's really hard to show. There you go. Um, so they all kind of have stuff like that. Um, Atelier Rorona, Alchemist of Our Land. Atelier Tatori, The Adventurer of Our Land. Atelier Aisha, I think is how you say it, The Alchemist of Dusk. We have Drakengard 3, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Tales of Zillia 2, and then these two don't have any damage at all, but we have Evo Land Legendary Edition. I really, really want to play this game, but it's too expensive to, like, open this one. Um, and uh, Kyle was saying it's, like, $4 on Steam, but I don't have a PC to play it on. <laughs> and then we also have Celeste. Super awesome. Then we have two vinyl records here. This first one is Street Fighter 3 The Collection. This is, I believe, a 4 a four disc set. Um, it's still brand new. Pretty awesome. There they all are in there. And then we also have this Pokemon gold, silver, and crystal vinyl. And this is not official. Um, I can't remember. The guy said he bought it from from a, from some website, uh, but you can find them listed and sold on eBay. So the price is based off of what they're actually selling for. Uh, but yeah, crazy, really, really cool though. Uh, there was another record, which I actually, uh, kept for myself, but it was a super Mario 64 vinyl soundtrack, but it was also unofficial from the same company that did this one. He said he has more of both of them. When they came out, he bought a couple of each. So, um, if this one sells quickly, then we will get the other ones from him. But I told him I don't want to buy a bunch of them if they're not going to sell because they are expensive. And then we have this stack. Really, really good stuff in here. We have a 32 gig memory card for the Vita. Technically, this is new. It's still sealed, but we just put it in its pre-owned because it's like in pretty rough condition. We have Ease Memories of Celceta, Gravity Rush, and PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale for the Vita. Final Fantasy 15 Day 1 Edition, Valkyria Chronicles, Resonance of Fate, Final Fantasy 13 2, Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13, Sui Coden 5, this is one of the gems of the lot. We have Sui Coden 4 and 3, Star Ocean Till the End of Time, Artanelico 2 and 1. These were both on somebody's wish list, but when we gave them a call, they didn't answer, so Ryan left a voicemail. Um, so if they're interested, hopefully you know, they get that voicemail and they can come and get them because these usually do not last very long in our store. Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth. Dot Hack GU Volume 2 Reminisce. Dot Hack GU Volume 3 Redemption. And then we have Dot Hack Infection Part 1. Dot Hack Mutation Part 2. Dot Hack Outbreak Part 3. And you can probably guess it. We have Dot Hack Part 4 Quarantine. 
the final chapter, which is a very expensive PS2 game. This is in like the top five most expensive PS2 games that are not some sort of special edition. And uh, we already have one of these in stock. We actually just lowered the price because it has come down a bit. We had the other one at 380. We lowered them both to 350, but we do have two copies now. They are both complete with the soundtrack, manual, game, all that, and in pretty good shape. So that was an awesome little collection we did not know was coming in, but super, super happy. All right, guys, time for the question of the day. Everybody wants to go home, except for Abby, because she already left. <laughs> but we want to know, we might we, we might have asked this before, but uh, we want to know what is a game, an older game, that you would like to see remade or remastered for the newer consoles? We could have a second part to that. <gasps> like, or if you can't think of one, or what game would you want to have a sequel made for? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 For both answers, mine is Mario RPG. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Kyle? Oh, yeah. um, man, I was trying to think of one. Jess? Uh, Harvest Moon, Another Wonderful Life for the GameCube. Hell freaking yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's Harvest Moon. Nice. That was my answer, but... <laughs> I think they... Because the story seasons... They remade uh, Friends of Mineral Town, mm -hmm. which is a link to Harvest Moon Wonderful Life. So definitely a chance they're working on that. I think they, oh. they said, I think it was a rumor or they said something about it. I don't know, but it might happen. That'd be wonderful. That'd be cool. <laughs> wonderful. You get it? <laughs> 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 okay, Kyle. Kyle. Oh, about to, oh, I thought you already answered. Mine was uh, Kid Icarus Uprising. Either remake mm -hmm. that or make a sequel. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. What about Klonoa 3? Doesn't exist yet. Yeah, that'd be the sequel. Planoa has to sell well on Switch, which it will, but they didn't release it physically in the US, so now it's not going to do as well as it would have. Yeah. Freaking idiots. Yeah. Van Dyne Namco. More like Butt Dye Namco. <laughs> yeah. Um, one game I wish they would remaster, like, not in the same vein as Final Fantasy VII Remake, because I hate that game, but <laughs> Final Fantasy IX. If they could do, like, whole graphical rehaul and just make it look amazing that'd be awesome yeah yeah okay cool. i want banjo kazooie and banjo tooie remastered in a double pack on the switch Ooh, that, Ooh. Good one. that yeah. would be cool that and be cool. they can put they can put banjo pilot and banjo kazooie grunty's revenge on there yeah. as well yeah. So all four. It'll be a four pack. Yeah. So and it'll be, Kong Racing too. it'll be twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> and Conquer's Bad for a Day. Yeah. Just like yeah. all mashup. Okay. <laughs> Instead, we're just gonna have we're gonna we're gonna have the N sixty four rare pack. Mm. And it's just gonna be all the rare games that they made for the sixty four. Right. All fully remastered with new bonus levels <laughs> and brand new updated scores and yeah, it's all going to be on one cartridge, no downloads. Oh, it's going to be VR parts, <laughs> right. and it's going to be nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Adam. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, Adam. <laughs> you bum. <laughs> <laughs>